na mkaribu mtazamaji kwa taarifa kamili wakazi wa vijiji vya Solio katika kaunti ya Laikipia wamefaidi chakula cha msaada kilichotolewa na wakazi wa Kabazi katika kaunti ya Nakuru Solio ni moja ya maeneo yanayokabiliwa na makali ya njaa huku wakazi wakihitaji chakula cha msaada kwa dharura msaada wa vyakula hivyo waliokabidhiwa ilikuwa ni pamoja na nafaka matunda pamoja na chakula cha mifugo akizungumzwa wakati wa shughuli hiyo kiongozi wa mpango huo Karioki Ngurukie amesema kuwa vyakula hivyo vilitolewa na wanafunzi pamoja na makanisa baada ya kusikia kilio cha wakazi wa Solio ukaweza kuwa pamoja nasi tuombote ndio wenyewe tutiene We are not that badly off. Of course si kuzuri lakini we are not that badly off. So tuka tukaamua tulete msaada huu upande wakati nisikia huku kuna njaa. So mimi nikaungana na mashule nikaungana na 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 watu wa Kambazi Subukia tukaungana na wao nikawaomba chakula wakatoa kila mtu alikuwa nacho watu watoto wengine wakaleta mahindi wazazi wakaleta kila mtu wakaleta tukakusanya zote pamoja ndizo tumeleta mahali hapa tumekuja maeneo haya ya mazingira nyeri teto na tuweze kushirikiana pamoja na watu wetu ni kwa sababu ni wa Kenya kama wale ambao wako Subukia sehemu ambayo imebarikiwa na diposa tumekuja mahali hapa ili tukaweza kushika wa Kenya wenzetu na tukaweza kushirikiana pamoja na wao katika hali ambayo ilioko ya, ya njaa tunashukuru kwa sababu tumeweza kupata usaidizi wa chakula yetu sisi pamoja na mifugo yetu so sisi tunashukuru Hisani Wema sana sana kutoka pande ya Subukia Kabazi na Hisani wengine ambao wamekuwa kitujali hivi karibu kwa sababu hali ilivyokuwa ya e, hali ambayo tunapitia tu, hapa kuna shagamoto kwa sababu kiagazi iko tunavyotugeoba na tunamashukuru ambao wanaotukumbuka na tugeoba mzidi kutukumbuka na muendelee na kuwa na nyoo hizo hizo tu na mtusalina masuala ya kilimo na ni kwamba wakulima kutoka kaunti nne za Kajiado, Makueni, Machakos na Taita Taveta wamepinga vikali ukulima wa vyakula vilivyokuzwa kwa njia ya kisayansi ama GMO Wakiongozwa na Mary Rongo wakulima hao wamehoji kwamba wengi hawajahamasishwa kuhusu kilimo hicho. Wanadai kuwa mbegu za GMO haziwezi zikapandwa mara mbili. EU by 2030 wanasema kwamba 30% ya mashamba yote ile kilimo atakuwa kifanya huko Europe yote iwe organic na, ta, na wanaongeza kusema kwamba wamegundua kwamba zile makemikali na zile ma vitu tunafanya na kilimo sasa industrial agriculture including GMOs kinafanya nini kinaleta madhara kwa mwili kwa environment na socio economic eh, considerations zile za watu wote huko Europe na ulimwenguni kote we are urging farmers to continue uh, practicing agroecology and also for them to understand the need for them to save and conserve the indigenous seeds that they they have and the indigenous seeds that they are supposed to to save as part of the culture as part of our heritage and what are the dangers that will come on seeds if they adopt the uh, genetic modified uh, plants or crops uh, one thing about the adoption of the GMO is that uh, we have to consider the population that is feeding our country and you find that 80% over 80% are the rural farmers who cannot even afford the seeds a season after season so on adoption of this uh, GMO it means that uh, our farmers over 80% will not be able to produce and this will now even make the situation worse as far as anger is concerned Kaunti mbalimbali ambazo zimeathiriwa na kiangazi na bala njaa zimeendelea kupokea chakula cha msaada kutoka kwa serikali ya kitaifa Kaunti ya Nakuru imepokea matrela moja yaliyojaa mchele na maharagwe ambao ulisambazwa kwa kaunti ndogo moja za kaunti hiyo Akizungumza alipozindua sherehe na hiyo ya chakula gavana wa Nakuru B Susan Kihika amelezea imani yake kuwa chakula hicho kitasaidia pakubwa kukabili njaa inayowakumba wakazi wa baadhi ya maeneo ya kaunti hiyo. Gavana Kihika amelezea kufurahia ushirikiano uliopo baina ya serikali ya kitaifa na ya kaunti katika kukabili athari za mabadiliko ya tabia nchi 
ambalo ni janga la kimataifa and these trucks are going to all our constituencies or all our subcounties na each of these trucks will be containing 400 bags of 50 kg rice in each bag so 400 bags and each bag has 50 kgs of rice and also 160 bags of beans you have seen some parts of naivasha that are very very affected be it in maela my mahio karagita areas some areas are very heavily affected come to gilgil and you will see some heavy drought uh, problems there in the elementaita areas some areas of uh, baruk just different parts of um, of gilgil even near gilgil ward itself there are some areas that have a lot of uh, food issues drought been hit by drought really heavily and especially also in some of the informal settlements that we have within the county she doesn't katika even this drought is something that is bigger than county governments as well part of it being climate change which is not only happening here in Kenya but all over the world we are working hand in hand with the national government and you will see us also taking lead and and uh, prioritizing those areas as a county to make sure that we have put in the resources necessary to help the people of Nakuru county na mama kweli mtazamaji wapo vile vile wewe unaweza kumfahamu mwenzako kwa njia moja ama nyingine itakuwa ni jambo la busara manake kiangazi kina kaba kila mkenya na mna viongozi wa makanisa humu nchini na wali wa kutoka nchini jirani Tanzania hivi leo wamefanya matembezi ya amani hapa jijini Nairobi kwa sababu ya kuombea Kenya viongozi hawa wa kidini kutoka makanisa tofauti wamesema Kenya imekuwa na wakati mgumu haswa kutokana na kiangazi na sasa wamewataka wa Kenya kuja pamoja katika maombi ili mvua inyeshe The main reason why we are meeting today from uh, Bob last year and have a prayer walk to Jibaji is to demonstrate to the fellow Kenyan that we are tired of the drought. We are tired of what is happening. And we want to declare as a church that we are going to pray. We believe the God of Elijah is our God. We believe Kenya, we normally say, we are 85% Christian. Not only 85% as Christian as believers, we said no for drought. We are going to pray for the drought. Also, we are praying for the uh, for the for the rain. God is going to hear us and is going to uh, bring rain to all over this nation. To make one changamoto zaki uchumi, garama maisha mepanda sana. Na pia to make one changamoto yoko sefu anvua mdamurefu. Mahari kuingi ni kama kulengarizeni tu naskia miaka mitano hawajapata mvua na sehemu nyingi za nchi na mifuko wamekufa e, binadamu wanaumia pia wanakufa kwa ajili ya njaa lakini hatutaki ifikie kiwango ya kutangazwa kuwa ni national disaster tunataka tuambie Mungu na kwa kusudi hili mtumishi wa Mungu baba e, daktari nabii mkuu Joe Devi Mungu amemwekea neno hili ajatangazie hapa na zifungulie mbingu tuko hapa kwa lengo hilo pamoja na kuiombea serikali ya Kenya na kumwombea mheshimiwa rais rais wa Kenya na kuombea watu wa Kenya kwa tuko hapa kuajia kufanya matembezi ya amani ya kumwambia nabii mkuu tunakuhitaji Kenya nabii mkuu tunakuomba Kenya usitupite matamko yako utamke na sisi na mtazamaji ni taarifa ambayo inatupeleka katika mapumziko hapa kwenye mbi weekend tunarudi hivi punde